classic Canada Post mailbox up in the boo. Just jumping in the old dirty weight Creative Co. Titan and heading down to Chilliwack. We got a trade show to attend to promote the resort. Got my trusty uh, skateboard, which is my uh, shipping dolly, transport dolly to move everything on the hard, cold floor. And the booth, brochures, uh, some fly equipment, some cards, and got everything. I'm just gonna head down Highway 24, get some gas. Yeah, this is a 30 point turn at the mailboxes here, by the way. Just head down to uh, Little Fort 24, get some gas. Head down into Chilo or uh, Kamloops first to meet Matt in Fishing BC, get some Fishing BC stuff. Then through Merritt, do a few things, and then head down onto the coast. There she goes. Gas is absurd. The boo to Chilliwack in this beast of a truck will probably be a couple hundo. Easy. Be 250 bucks or something. Unloady, unloady. I didn't do the best job of pre-packing, so everything's kind of smushed in. But so you bring a skateboard. I bring skateboards. You just wheel things in. All right, let's do this. Trade shows. Interesting. Um, it's always a kind of flurry to get things set up. Um, most of the time, hopefully the evening before, uh, you know, get your 10-foot space set up where you have, you know, the appropriate pamphlet and you know the appropriate signage and lighting, and then you just get ready for. You know, sometimes it could be really busy or sometimes slow. A lot of it depends on the weather, but it's a uh, good tool when you have a resort, um, you know, pre-season to get out and give those pamphlets to people and uh, talk to face-to-face -to -face with some of the customers that have been booked in or will be booking in because ideally it's a sales process.
And then you reach the end of the trade show and it, you're pretty tired, you're pretty beat. Um, a lot of talking, a lot of people going back and forth. Quickly rip down that booth and everything you've got kind of been set up and sitting behind for the last three, four days. Get everything stuffed into bags and then head back home to the resort. I think this one was a success. Um, talked to a lot of our new neighbors up in the Sheridan area, which was great. And if you're watching this, hello new neighbors. Uh, talked to a few guests that are already reserved in and also some potential guests that will be booking in which is uh, super cool. And I believe, you know, we've uh, definitely touched base with a new clientele and looks pretty good for the season. So these are pretty important to do when you're running a new resort or lodge. Get out and talk to people face to face, not just behind the phone calls and emails and talk a little fishing and introduce yourself. So I feel like it was a success. There's a full stop on the highway. Obviously, there's some rebuilding going on. Um, yeah, they've got lights kind of set up here. And uh, it's a full stop, which is interesting. I wanted to, I took the number one on the way back. Um, Google Maps said it was five minutes quicker of a route, but that's not the case. But I wanted to see Lytton. Haven't seen Lytton since it was completely destroyed and just wanted to drive past and maybe get a bit of footage and get an idea of what that looked like. So hopefully we can get some footage coming up here. I don't know if we're allowed to stop, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So this is Lytton. You can't really see much when you're coming along the highway. It's all kind of like blocked off, but right behind me here, ironic, ironically there's a train going by. <laughs> right behind me here is just a massive like gut yard of burnt cars and trucks and boats and a bunch of burnt steel stuff. It's pretty crazy. I get why, you know, you can't really see much of the town. It's probably not, they don't want it to be like an attraction, but yeah, you can't really see when you're driving along number one into the, into the city. Check this out. This is a super nuked RV. It's crazy. Like this whole area went up. Sad man. It's powerful. It's really powerful stuff. Well, that was a pretty hefty journey last night after packing up the booth and heading onto the highway and zipping up to the caribou. Got in here last night at about, I think, 10.30. Got sore feet and rough voice from talking for three days straight. And But it's always worth it if you can get out on the road and get to a show if you have a resort and, you know, talk to the people and talk to new guests and answer questions it you know puts a name to a face and uh, yeah it just really helps um, so it was good that we went down there and marketed the resort now I'm gonna 
unpack and kind of walk around here and show you kind of how much snow and how much ice has kind of left just in the last four days that I was gone, so. What a beauty day on Sheridan. Definitely got some, uh, some snow that's receded away from all the buildings. Also, we because we, uh, you know, pulled out a bunch of trees in the middle of the, the property there. The sun's coming through in the morning, which is super cool and kind of speeding up that snow melt process. But um, yeah, I'm gonna, just gonna walk around with the camera for you a bit and show you some of the snow that's crept away. And then I think we're gonna go this evening, launch the bird in the air and go have a boo and see where some of the lake has melted. See if we can find some spots. little bit warmer and a little bit warmer each day. Yep. You went and climbed up the Lone Butte or the Butte. The Butte, yeah, it is all alone over there. So uh, <laughs> the girls and I went and checked it out. Once you got to the top, you could see so much out there. I could see Irish Lake. Right. What well, everybody was asking me at the show. Well, not everybody, but a few people were asking <laughs> me about Irish Lake. <laughs> what it looked like there. Yeah. Mark knows because he's across the street, but still, still lots of ice. Some still snow. got ice all the way around it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard to tell too because you got like this small, thin layer of snow now. We're getting now. Now it's down to like where you can just see all the different colored formations out and like kind of where some of the warmer spots would be with natural springs or vegetation. Mm -hmm. But like there's open water right there. I'm sure there's some open water over there in those bays. I guess there's only one way to really find out from here. How to get drony. Let's get the drone up in the air. <laughs>
The cat followed us out here. Can you see her? No. Get in. <laughs> I'm gonna go get her. Come on, Minnie. Go get her. Go get Badoo. Go get Kitty. Yeah, and now, um, which is great, I'm starting to see uh, reservations coming in from the trade show. Um, you know, we've processed five here uh, since we've been back, so that's always a, that's always a bonus, bonus. So you know that the sales part, and you know, you know everything's working. See them popping up. We have a automated system on the website that's been applied, so people can make reservations right online, which helps when you're running a you know, a skeleton crew in sales and communications. So that's good news. Well, another week has gone by. Hey, thanks again for watching. We, uh, say this all the time but we really appreciate your likes and uh, comments and following the YouTube channel and subscribing uh, it really helps us keep driving to uh, you know to keep the cameras rolling while we're working and and get things all you know in place there's so much going on as you can see behind me we've got a, a ton of work to do this week there's a, a plethora of fallen trees that we're gonna need to start um, stripping down and bucking up and removing and then there's what they call sweeping a uh, bunch of work to do so of course we'll be rolling the cameras while we do all that um, if you just joined in uh, for this episode this is our third you can uh, stay on the page and search back and see it kind of go from the start but we will be running these uh, vlog video series from the resort the entire season the entire year actually so um, it's not too long from now when that lake starts coming off and uh, we start incorporating some fishing uh, reports and footage of course into these vlog series mm -hmm.